Yo guys what's up Jonas here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix it when your controller is not connecting or not charging for your playstation and basically this means that you are trying to connect your controller to your playstation and it won't recognize it or the playstation is not charging uh, the controller is not charging at all now if the problem is not due to a dysfunction in the controller like a bad battery health or a problem if you've broken before then this video is for you first of all we're gonna start off by checking all our cables the controller of the ps4 uses micro usb cables that can be if you do not have the playstation 4 default uh, cable you can use any uh, usb to micro usb that are used on or were used on android devices and basically go ahead and grab any cable and then try to connect it to the first port and then the second port of your playstation Try to make sure that those uh, ports are clean because you know that they accumulate a lot of dust whether it's on the controller or on the PlayStation 4 system. You know that sometimes there can be a lot of dust so I would recommend you to use a dust cleaner or maybe uh, like a toothpick or something that will help you uh, clean the ports. If this does not work I would recommend you to reset your controller on the back of the controller there's a small hole where with a small and thin toothpick or a needle you can just hold the button inside and it will reset the settings of your controller and this should help you fix your problem if your, if your controller is lagging or not charging last of all you can try to charge your controller using an adapter because it works the same thing as your cell phone you do not necessarily have to connect it to your playstation try charging it using an adapter and then connecting it to your playstation if this is still did not work we're gonna try to pair the controller directly to the playstation so uh, what we need to do to um, do that actually is to go to the settings on our playstation now if you have two controllers this would be easier because if not your system won't be turning on and you won't be able to navigate to the menu so unless you don't have a second controller or a remote app you won't be able to do this one so go to settings and then go to uh, bluetooth devices you'll see your controller that is connected and is actually active so what you need to do is to connect another controller to the playstation 4 system and uh, in order to do that you take your controller you hold the share button and then you head you hold the playstation button in the middle this should allow your system to uh, detect or the controller basically to pair with your playstation now keep in mind as you can see right here my controller is not connecting to the playstation so what i would recommend you and what i, what I would go ahead and do is use a usb cable in order to connect the controller and then retry this method so as you can see by pressing the button the playstation controller was not connecting so i'm going to go ahead and use my working usb to micro usb cable connect it to the playstation 4 and then hold the share button and the power button until you see the controller blinking very fast and then once it blinks you can go ahead and select an account that should allow you to sign into your system so again you hold the share button and the button in the middle you wait for your controller to do the blinking and then it should connect you to the system so what you have to do is to go ahead and select any account on your system and then you'll be able to connect the controller sometimes you can also retry pressing the home button once you've done that so go ahead and uh, choose the account that you have signed in and then there you go your controller just connected as you can see it's DualShock 4 and the third one on the row so i hope this video helped you out if it did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace